Just got a pair of these um, Shred Lights SL1000 and a bunch of mounting equipment plus two free diffusers and some really badass stickers. This is going to be a quick unboxing so let's take a look at what's inside. So I'm also going to be comparing the SL1000 to the rest of my flashlights that I use for this game and try to give you guys a pretty good comparison. Okay, so let's take a look at this really quick. Um, this box, so this SL1000 is 1000 lumens, IPX7 waterproof, so it's not dust proof, it's just waterproof. Uh, it has a quick release and mounting and is using USB-C charge. It also includes a medium diffuser lens and a bunch of stickers. Um, let's see... Yes. Let's go to the back. It has 5 brightness settings. It goes from 50 lumens at 50 hours or 1000 lumens at just 1.5 hours. And then there's the 4 different flash modes. There's constant burst, um, and then slow flash, fast flash, burst flash, plus your constant light beam. So it uses USB-C charging and it takes about 3.5 hours to charge. It has a waterproof cover. There's a control button and uh, it controls brightness and also gives you a battery level indicator. It uses an aluminum shell and it has double-sided buttons, which is pretty good. I really like that. It has internal memory settings and dual click power off. And then it has the standard S-lock, which all the Shred lights, which all the shred lights can use, and it has a quick release attachment, and it has modular lenses in which you can remove the cap and change the filters. So that's pretty cool. Cool. Let's open it up. All right. Okay. Here's a big warning right here. Use with extreme caution. Maximum brightness settings may result in temporary blinding of yourself and others. So yeah, don't point this at people's faces. Now, I just got this in the mail and it's very cold outside and this thing is cold. But just from touching, just from holding it, this is pretty hefty and it feels really solid in the hand, in my hand. Here's the mount. Let's put that. Let's put that on the side just for now. And let's look at what's inside. We have diffusers. This is a medium diffuser. Put that on the side. We have a USB to USB C charger. We have some shred light stickers. I have way too many shred light stickers. Overheating prevention. In all settings above 500 lumens, this may get warm after use. To prevent overheating, brightness will be automatically lowered to maintain a safe internal temperature. When this occurs, the main LED will flash three times to indicate overheating. Prevention has been enabled when riding at a speed of 10 miles per when riding at a speed of 10 miles per hour or faster, the breeze will help cool down the lights and can, can avoid overheating prevention from occurring. From reading this, I think it won't maintain 1000 lumens for the entirety of its battery capacity, so we probably need to do some tests on this. And then there's a product guide, and then there's did you know? That's, that's really it. So what is in the product guide? So basically it just kind of teaches you what to do, you know, if you press or hold the power on and off buttons. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's take a look at the light. So here is a standard size comparison between the SL1000 and the SL200. It's definitely a little bit longer. And has a bigger profile.
Definitely heavier too. So, safe memory mode. By default, these lights will be in safe memory mode, which means every time you turn off the lights and you turn it back on again, it's going to default back to the lowest brightness setting. That is the default safe memory mode. But you can turn that off and go into advanced memory mode. And by doing that, it will remain at the brightness in which you had left when you turned off the light. And in order to turn on the advanced memory mode, you simply press this top button for five seconds until it turns red. So here's what I mean. You hold it, one, two, three, four, five. See a blinking red? That means the advanced memory mode is turned on and the safe memory mode is turned off. You can do the same thing by holding it five times to turn, to turn the safe memory mode back on and advanced memory mode off. One, two, three, four, five. See it's green now? When it flashes green, that means the safe memory mode is on. There is also a lockout mode, and the lockout mode happens when you press both sides for 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3. And you see a blinking orange. That means it's in lockout mode. It doesn't matter which button you press, the light is not going to turn on. This is good for when you're traveling, you don't want the light to accidentally turn on. And any button you press while in this lockout mode, you'll see the orange flash. In order to turn it off, you just hold and press the left and right buttons for about 3 seconds. And it's going to turn green to let you know that you're, you are no longer in the lockout mode. A couple other things I want to talk about is warranty. Make sure you understand that there's a 90 day warranty. So make sure you test out your lights in 90 days in case there's any issues with them so you can kind of get your warranty support during this time. Also some basic specs on this. It weighs about 123 grams and it uses a 3500 milliamp hour battery. Charge time is about 3.5 hours. It's IPX7 waterproof. It's submersible up to one meter for 30 minutes. It's pretty good. You can actually go take a shower with this thing on. And the LED is the Samsung 5700K 5, LED. And the lens diameter is 29 millimeters. And this lens cap, this lens cap can be removed Because no, there's no default diffuser in there, but this can be removed. And you can see there's a little grooving here. I guess this is where you put the diffuser. Now let's try one of the diffusers. It came with the medium diffuser. And if you have pre-ordered this, it also came with the narrow diffuser. So let's, uh, let's try the medium diffuser first. Okay, I guess it doesn't really fit on here, so I guess you put it in here first, and then you I don't know if this is intentional, but when you put the diffuser in here, I don't know if this is intentional, but when you put the diffuser in here, there's a gap. Right? So just make sure you screw it on tight. Now let's give this a test, shall we? Okay, so I am in my basement with all the curtains closed, so it's a pretty dark basement. And I'm standing about 10 feet away from the wall. Let's give the standard 
no diffuser SL1000 test. So I'm 10 feet away, pointing at the wall, no diffuser. And then on the right side, I'm going to turn on the SL1000 with the diffuser. This is, this is with the brightness turned on at maximum for both lights. Medium diffuser on the right, no diffuser on the left. This is with medium diffuser on the right. This is with narrow diffuser on the left. I'm, I am standing about 10 feet away from the wall. Medium diffuser on the left. SL200 on the left. Narrow diffuser on the right, SL200 on the left. No diffuser on the right, SL200 on the left. So this is the SL1000 in its lowest setting. This is the SL200 at its default setting. I'm going to increase the brightness on the SL1000. Increasing the brightness again. This is level 3 and level 5. So this is the level 1 brightness for SL1000. Level 2, level 3 level 4 and level 5 as you can see it's very bright make sure you guys remember to subscribe as I'll be doing full reviews not only just on the SL1000 but also as a comparison to all the other flashlights that I have so far I'm very impressed by this light and its output but how long it can maintain 1000 lumens in average temperature is still to be seen so so yeah make sure you guys stay tuned i'll be doing more videos on flashlight comparisons thanks